Hi there, my name is Tezowen. You may know me as Zoen, Zoen, or any other variations of those nicknames. And I'm currently an EFY or Engineering Foundation Year student at the University of Southampton Malaysia campus. And I'm hereby running for the position of Secretary for the UOSM Student Association for the term April 2021 to April 2022. So a bit of background on my leadership experience. I'm currently the class representative for the EFY cohort and I'm also the representative of the EFY cohort to the Student Experience Committee, otherwise known as the SEC. And I'm also the social media manager for the USN Social Leadership Club, otherwise known as the SLC. Not to be confused with the SSLC though. Of course, I've had plenty of leadership experience in secondary school as well. Um, I was firstly the secretary and then the vice president for two consecutive years in a row for the computer club in my secondary school. I've also helped run a lot of school events, for example, the Scouts Camp that I ran together with the Scouts Committee of my secondary school. But I think that's enough about me telling you about my leadership experience because the true purpose of this video today is to tell you about my manifesto for running for secretary for the USMSA in the next academic year. Firstly, I would like to start by asking a question. So what do you think makes the world go round? Is it money? Is it government? Is it perhaps multinational corporations? Well, my answer to that is that black and white makes the world go round. So what do I mean by black and white? Well, as defined by the Merriam-Webster dictionary, black and white is any form of writing or document. And that could be as simple as a receipt as your proof of purchase or a transcript of a results from your last semester in university. So what is the significance of black and white? Um, well, black and white is simply put um, a document and evidence or a proof of what you've done in the past in your daily lives and in the context of an organization like the USMSA, um, it could be something as simple as meeting minutes or emails between the SA and other organizations, which serves as a record for us to refer to. For example, in the SA, I believe we would tend to set goals for ourselves as well as the student body as a whole to move forward. And to check if we've ever achieved that goal, it's very simple. We could just return to the meeting minutes and check what that goal originally was and check our progress. But what if that goal was never documented? Right? How would you know if you've achieved that goal? Not to mention what the goal even was in the first place. And this is where my personal goal for running for the Secretary of the SA comes in. Because I believe there should be no incident and no occurrence that should not be documented. Everything has to have a record. When I buy something at the shop, I would certainly expect the shop to offer me a receipt after I have paid for what I've bought. And certainly, once I've completed my exams, I would expect there to be a transcript of my results. And when someone does research, I would certainly expect there to be a research paper written at the end as a documentation of what had gone on during the entire research so I could study it in, in depth. Well, I hope those were clear examples, but the point here is that everything needs to be recorded. Otherwise, the memory of something ever occurring could just vanish, or someone could simply give a false recollection of what had really happened. Well, clearly someone has to do all these recording, right? And in the case of buying something from a shop, the cashier does it, puts it on the receipt, gives it to you. And in the case of transcripts, the examination board of an institution will do the compiling and then prints the transcript out for you. In the case of an organization like the SA, it's the secretary. Personally, I find it very irritating when a shop owner does not give me a receipt as a transcript of what I've bought because then I would not know how I've spent my money. And I would find it extremely irritating if I wasn't given a transcript for a test I did. And therefore, I believe I'm fit to hold the position of Secretary of the USMSA. If I do get elected as the Secretary of the USMSA, then I'll do everything I can in my power to record every meeting, every activity that goes on the USMSA down to the finest detail. Vote Zoan, leave no record undocumented. Thank you.